Okay, right here is a 1940 General Invincible Cable Shovel. The General Excavator Company was founded by the owners of the Osgood Company in 1926 in Marion, Ohio. And the model Invincible, which you are looking at right here, was introduced in 1935. Now, let's go and take a closer look at this machine. Unlike other manufacturers at this time, the General Excavator Company liked to physically name their products. The Invincible was designed to swing a dipper rated at three-quarter cubic yards. The Invincible featured twin dipper sticks with rack and pinion drive for the dipper handle which you can see right here. Here you can see where the boom pins to the superstructure on the machine. And to the left and right of the boom, you can see the two sway bars to prevent boom swaying when the shovel is digging. As you can see, this shovel is chain driven, and you can see the chain running around the front sprocket right here, which connects to the drive sprocket, and when this machine is engaged into the travel mode, this is what will rotate the crawlers to travel the machine. Right here you can see the circle, and you can see all of the rollers, which guide the machine around the circle when the swing gear engages. Okay, now let's go up on the Invincible. Here you can get a good view inside the house on this machine. On the left side of this machine is the operator station, which you can see right here. You can see all the big hand levers out in front, foot pedals on the floor, and here you can see where the operator's seat would have been. And from here you can get a good view of what the operator would see if he were running this machine. Right here you can see the crowd and hoist drum. And back here you can see the engine that powers this machine. The General Excavator Company offered the Invincible with either gasoline or diesel power. The engine options included either a six-cylinder Buda gasoline engine or a six-cylinder Cummins diesel engine. Both engines produced between 84 and 87 horsepower, respectfully. Here's something that's really cool. Here you can see the original metal sign that says, General Excavator Company's Invincible. On the right side of this machine is the fuel tank, which you can see right here. And on the back of the machine's counterweight, you can see where it says, Invincible General Excavator Company, Marion, Ohio, USA.
And from underneath here, you can get another good view of the lower works on this machine, including the car body, crawler frames, and superstructure. And the overall operating weight of the Invincible was 24 tons. The end finally came in 1954, when the Marion Power Shovel Company acquired both the General Excavator Company and the Osgood Company. But there she is, a 1940 General Invincible.